Bell. She is on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Uh, good to have you here this morning, sir. Welcome to you. Thank you. So, Congressman, you fought very hard uh, for this bill, and, and today you face watching it uh, go down for repeal, at least in your chamber. W what does that feel like to you? Well, here's the question. You know, the Republicans won the election. Uh, and the question now for them and all of us is whether we want to continue to fight to put political points on the board or we want to make practical progress for the American people. And the decision to repeal is essentially a decision to really toss out the good rather than improve the bad. And my strong view is that the responsibility all of us have is to try to improve the health care bill and the health care system, particularly on the cost containment side. But I think repeal is very radical and it's actually very damaging and will take away hard-fought gains uh, for your family and mine. So, you know, I, I think on their side, they would say they're only being true to what their constituents voted them into office to do uh, in terms of the opposition out there. You know, it, basically the country is pretty much split on this on this uh, health care reform and whether or not they want to see it repealed. And we can show some numbers on that in a moment. But I want to show you an ad uh, that was that was put out there, you know, in favor of your side of things. Let's take a look at this. and I want to get your reaction to it. The Affordable Care Act gave your family the same health protections members of Congress get, but Republicans want to take that protection away from your family. They want to put insurance companies back in charge. Do you think that's a fair ad? Is that, is that what Republicans really want in your estimation? Well, you know, it, frankly, it's, it's probably fair, but I don't think it's helpful. I think the more specific we make this for the American people, the more they can decide what makes sense, because there are some things that do need improving. But there are things in the health care bill that are absolutely essential. Letting our kids who get out of high school and get their first job, eight bucks, nine bucks an hour, staying on parent health care, when that job has no health care, that's a good thing. The Republicans people... seem to be in favor of, of maintaining that as well. I mean, it, it, in many ways, it's, are, are you that far apart? You know, where, where do you think the best common ground is? What would you push for? Well, that's my point. On a lot of these insurance reforms, there's broad support for them. The area where, there's need, where we need help in the health care system, not just the Obama bill, is on how do you contain costs. But the Republicans are actually repealing things that they acknowledge are very good, like letting our kids stay on our policy till age 26, uh, letting you get coverage even if you have a pre-existing condition, prohibiting an insurance company from throwing you off your insurance when you get sick. They're literally repealing those things. When you ask the American people, are they for repealing those protections, the answer to that is clearly no. I mean, the Obama bill is a million different bad things to a million different people as it was uh, vilified in the election. And, you know, we've got to pivot, all of us, because the question now is, are we going to make practical progress? Health care is a huge expense to American businesses. It's a huge uh, family security issue. And we spend more on, the, in, you know on health care in this country you're than right any about, other. You're right about that. It's so, it, you know, it's so central to people's sense of security right. and how they feel about things. Talk to me a little bit, you know, when you talk about repeal, uh, you know, we have some uh, poll numbers that I want to put up. These are recent poll numbers that show basically, you know, there's a large split. About 48 percent want to repeal this law uh, and not replace it. That's the top tier there. 28 percent would repeal the law and replace it only with the most popular provisions. And 27 percent say leave it in place but remove the most unpopular parts. Now, the most unpopular parts uh, seem to fall into this individual mandate. That, that says everybody must buy some form of health insurance. Is that something you'd, you would be able to give up and compromise? Well, there's a way you could get there to getting rid of the individual mandate. I mean, by the way, if you're going to have everybody in the country covered, and most people support that, they think when you need health care, you should get it, all of us have to help pay for it. But one of the provisions that I'd like to see is the waiver going into effect uh, by 2014 and, and instead of 2017. Uh, states like Vermont and even Florida who have different views about how to get to broad-based coverage, affordable care, and lower cost would be given flexibility in how to do it. And it would range from opportunities like Vermont is pursuing for a single payer, which is not popular in other places, uh, to let other states experiment. It might be a market-based approach. But I think we should have a common set of goals because, you know, if you don't have insurance, you still get health care. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What do you think about the idea of allowing people to buy across state borders and, and about tort reform? Because those are two very popular ideas in this country based on I all the polling we saw during this battle. Yeah. Are those two things that you could be in favor of in some kind of compromise with Republicans? I do. You, 
A absolutely. And see, you know, buying across state lines makes sense. You've got to have some standards so it's not a race to the bottom. But then you do allow there to be interstate competition. So I could support that when you have some reasonable standards. Also, obviously, litigation reform, the, uh, the objective here is to make folks whole, uh, make folks whole if they've been injured, uh, not to impose real defensive medicine burdens on our uh, good practitioners. So if we started talking with Republicans who have some good ideas about how to improve the legislation, yeah. I know you'd see President Obama willing to do it, but this radical notion, literally, of ripping it up root and branch is the way uh, some uh, folks on the Republican side describe it, means you're going to take away from American families some of the provisions like the health insurance yeah. reforms that everybody supports. That's well, a I, very I think bad American, idea. Most Americans would be very encouraged uh, if there was a way to kind of throw out this individual mandate and bring in tort reform and buying across state borders. So if that's where all this conversation ends up, uh, I think that that might be a move in a, in a direction that uh, people could, could get on board with. Uh, Congressman Peter Welsh, it's great to have you with us today, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.